Well, uh, a very good afternoon. This is Arunavo Chaudhary. Um, due to personal reasons, I thought I won't be doing a live today, but, uh, you know, reality sometimes does uh, change things. And at the moment, um, as things are moving, there might be some news uh, coming um, our way that um, there are very, very interesting discussions happening, um, you know, in the background and uh, uh, maybe um, the role of our head coach is not as secure as some people might think. And uh, therefore, yeah, we're, we're, we're in a very interesting, as I said, very interesting scenario, very interesting situation where um, the whole uh, schema scenario could be coming up in some sort of form or way, guys. And I wanted to catch up with you on that and therefore, yeah, join me in the conversation. Therefore, yeah, a little provocative, my headline today, could India fire Igor Stimach, uh, because I think it's getting some traction. I think um, there are some talks happening on the matter and uh, therefore, yeah, I look forward to, to having, as always, an interactive session with you guys. Uh, do join, as always, our own foot uh, here on um, YouTube, but also on my other social medias and also, um, you know, join me um, on um Arnfoot.com. And um, to me, um, interesting developments. Um, I got on. Welcome. Hi from my side as well. Um, interesting is that it seems to me that um, this whole Afghanistan game, uh, this loss um, has, hi Vignesh, um, this loss against Afghanistan uh, seems to have woken up certain quarters, um, one within the Federation, um, another one also in, in, in the government as well, in, in the sports ministry, in the in SAI, um, because, yeah, initially my feeling was, yeah, it's, you know, nothing going to happen. And I've been speaking to a lot of people and, um, to me, uh, um, it seems to be that people are realizing what it means to have lost Afghanistan. And one thing which I've heard again and again is that people do realize that this was a sort of a ragtag Afghanistan team which Ashley Westwood put together, which Ashley Westwood worked on, which... Um, which we never can and should be losing to. You know, there's, there's, there's no discussion about this. And this realization, which seems to have come, um, is there, you know, and um, is, is something which I feel surprising on one side, knowing how these people like to operate and like to be safe. And... Um, Akash saying India is not going to FIFA 2026. Let's see what happens, you know, with crazy times. Uh, in my conversations, I realized that certain people uh, um, that beat the technical committee now and beat also people within the government, this was embarrassing. Now, maybe I'm going to say something which we all don't like. But I feel, from my understanding, is it's very, very, very important that the classic newspaper media has been writing a number of critical reports. These, the top level people, I don't see following that much of social media or what content creators are creating or what we're saying. They follow newspapers, they have conversations, that's the way how information is passed on, you know? And um, Icon Nolan says, this Afghanistan loss was very important as there are many loopholes within Indian football. It's good that this loss came at the right time because it's still not over. Bring new coach and start a new journey. Icon Nolan, that's, that's, a, that's the thing I think, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, um, that's one thing. And again, if at Times of India, the Hindustan, Hindustan Times, in Indian Express, you know, classic newspapers 
write uh, 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 scathing reports about the AFF and about all of this that has come together. Um, then we know that that something seems to be happening somewhere. Someone is listening at least. That it's not totally dead. That we understand that something is happening. And therefore, uh, um, you know, I think that there is something. And um, Igor Stimach, hello from my side as well. Sir, is there any hope to stack Igor Stimach before June? Um, I think there is hope because they'll find loopholes. They've done that in the past, getting rid of Bob Houghton, getting rid of Nikolai Adam. There are means and ways of getting rid of people. And it's not an AF thing. It's, it happens around the world. So therefore, um, so, so, that, so therefore, yes, this is, this is something that can be discussed. How could Sharji extend too much contract without a performance-based clause? Um, why was the contract extended at all? That would be my first question. And then the question is, because the uh, Secretary General has been fired by the Federation, does, is there any uh, validity of that contract extension at the time? So to me, that's a very, very interesting fact that there are, you know, people are looking at the background and um, Mayan says AFF is awake. Yeah, AFF, AFF is always awake. Again, it has too many own problems. But they do realize, you know, um, Therefore, I also said earlier, you know, to me, um, that a big loss in the Asian Cup would have also done us good. Because one thing Igor Stimach has been very, very lucky with is that his losses were always like 1-0, 2-0, 2-1, 3-0, 3-1, 3-2, whatever, 4-2. It was never, you never got as 5-0 or 6. In the last few years, you did, you eat bitter 6-0 once. So therefore, um, you know, that, that, that something is happening. And yes, surprisingly, yesterday evening, um, even later after, much, much later than, than, than our live last night, um, conversations in the technical committee happened because also they have been speaking. I've spoken with the one other person in the technical committee and they have started communication conversations amongst each other because they also realize, or they have been made to realize uh, um, that, uh, uh, um, that, 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 um, you know, even their names are being dragged into this whole chaos mess of of the AFF. Therefore, therefore, to me, that uh, uh, um, you know, therefore, that's that's the point. And certainly, we don't have, have, have uh, um, the 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 uh, um, the money um, for for uh, uh, you know the the money that would be if if, if the contract extended, uh, 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 you know. You know, that's that's going to be interesting. And Shubham Hazra's changing coach will make it any complete overall of things is needs. Um, I think yes. I think that's the that's the question. You know, someone new comes in, uh, will he be able to? Uh, uh, um, you know, will he be able to try and 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 create whatever is needed? You know. So therefore, to me, uh, um, uh, it would be interesting to see how we. Uh, um, can create the 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 whole you know the the whole um, structure of the whole thing, right? So to me, is very very important is how can we change things, uh, 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 um, you know, and and that's something. Off topic question: Do you work in Germany related to football or something else? Some other work? I I work in football. Yeah, I work full time in football, um, uh, not only in Germany but around the world. So yeah, that's my uh, um, you know. So that's that thing. Vedan uh, Babele says, for second steam match, we have to sacrifice third round. Well, the question is that I, you, and all of us need to ask ourselves is, what is the lesser evil? Right? For, for the good of Indian football, of, of the Indian national team, what would be the best for us, for Indian football? And, and from that perspective, yeah, and and that's that's my that's my that's my uh, that's my uh, concern. Um, otherwise, the same four-year cycle continue for ages, and agony or frustration will continue for us. Yeah, I mean, again, more frustration is going to come. Uh, uh, you know, this is this is going to be going to be interesting. Um, that 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 we will we will see, and and, and let's see what happens. Um, who all are in this technical committee apart from I'm Vijan? So, current members are Shabir Ali. Um, 
again, former India international and, and a former coach, um, you know, had his heydays with Salgaokar and Mahindra United. Arjinder Singh, also former India international, Climax Lawrence, former India captain, Arun Malhotra, former international, Eugene Sanlingdo, as well as Pimki Magar. So those are the members of the executive committee. Yes, uh, they're only acting now because they want to save their image. Ashu, yes, of course, that's surely that's one of the reasons. To be very honest, that would be one of the reasons for them to try and do something now because for them, as for anybody else, it's very, very important that you need to find solutions um, which work. And, and image is something. If your image is in danger, and this is not just an Indian football thing, but you see a lot of clubs take decisions because they also recognize that these are, you know, uh, 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 you know, so so therefore, yeah, that's something. Uh, I got no says there's no need to go to round three if we can't beat Afghanistan because then in round three we'll only be getting thrashed and we won't learn anything. So, first focus on defeating and dominating and domination lower ranked teams comfortably. Um, agree and disagree. I think for us, um, we are not in a position even to, to dominate lower ranked teams. To me, that is that's something you know, is, is to me is a, is a reality. You know, it's it's. We saw that now against Afghanistan, and we've not dominated Afghanistan in the last five years, right? Last one, I don't even know. Last one, most probably was 2015. You know, debut of Changte, where I think we won four nil against Afghanistan in Trivandrum. I think that's the last time we dominated Afghanistan, right? After that, it's always been scrappy, and we've not dominated them. We've not dominated Nepal. We've not dominated Bangladesh. So domination to me is is. Is, 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 is a wannabe thing. But is that really realistically possible? That is, that is my concern at the moment. Is, that, is, is, is something going to happen or not? And, and therefore, um, I think, yeah, it's, it's something. Let's see what, what happens. Uh, um, let's see, is, 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 is there. Um, RCB, Ran Machine asks, so off topic question Who do you think will qualify for AFC Champions League 2 this season? Or do you think Indian teams have a chance to win this tournament this year? Um, well, I mean, it looks to be. Mohan Bagan Super Giant, Mumbai City, and Odisha. You know, these are the three top teams, and one of them most probably. And uh, winning, forget it, because the AFC is changing its format. There are better teams coming into the ACL2 as well. So, winning, out of the question. I think, you know, let's focus on the basics, maybe depending on how the groups are, maybe winning a match or two. That would be my, my biggest. Um, few people on social media are still trying to play down the senior and junior player rift. Wasn't it evident from the body language of the players that they don't want to play for this coach? Well, that's that's something which 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 I think not only you but I think a lot of us felt. And again, it has been stated by certain former players that there must be some sort of problem because this team isn't as bad as they played the other day. And that, to me, is 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 it would be the biggest worry sign, right? If 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 we are there and you play like this, um, which which does not work, which to me is is something which which. Uh, which is which is a, 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 a you know which which is a which is a problem, right? And it is very very clear that it's not a junior senior only. It's it's a question of who belongs to which block. That would be my first question: which player which belongs to which block, or if there is a block, uh, uh, um, you know. So therefore, it'll be interesting to see. Um, to me, at the moment, it's it's this team is a disjointed unit, and the first task of the new. If either for Igor Stimach, if he stays, which I don't hope, or for the new coach is to try and find the right unit. And there might be also certain players who you might have to say, listen, what, you know what, too much of travel. Um, so therefore, you know, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's something that, 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 that needs to be looked at. Igor Stimach says in 2004, Stimach slapped a referee after frustration decision and he was suspended. Yeah, yeah. You see his anger issues anyway, right? I mean, how many times has he been getting yellow cards and being suspended? Uh, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, if we now, Navneet says, if we do get someone like a Manolo, surely a two-three week camp would be much more likely to give us a good result than a camp of one month or more with with the current coach. Um, to me, it doesn't matter who the coach is as long as it's a different one. It could be Manolo, it could be someone else. As I said, my favorite would not be an ISL coach. If you ask me, I wouldn't. I wouldn't take someone from the ISL. I would bring in someone new because we need someone new with no. I feel with no connections or cross connections, you know that is one of the biggest problems that we've had now. That there have been, you know, there have been, uh, you know, uh, nepotism, so to say, in the team, and that's something, uh, um, you know, that's something. 
Big Nisha, sir, I'm from Kerala. Lots of respect. I'm Vijan as player. Air from Duty Worst. He know work, uh, know how work modern football. Um, that's again, yes, there are some compulsions for Vijubai as well. So for I'm Vijan to be there, um, not easy. Um, but again, I think if they now at least take action, then you know, we I think that would be that would at least something happening. Um I can't know on the things we haven't done in any South country leave rest. I think that's the first, you know, that's the point. We talk about domination, possession football, about game plan, about this, about that. This is not Barcelona. This is not Manchester City or Bayern Munich or Real Madrid or whatever. This is Indian football, the Indian national football team. We have to go back to the basics, guys. That is my, my main thing. It doesn't, for me, the style is not a matter. If Igor Stimach played shitty football, but got the results, but and but at least said, you know what, I'm getting the results. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm fine with it. But to say, we will do this, we will do that, we, will, we are doing this, we're doing that, the game is great and all that stuff. And you're playing even worse. You know, uh, 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 um, you know let's see, let's see, uh, um, you know, that, that, that something happens. If we qualify for round three, then we need a new coach for the 10 games in that round. Um, my p- first thing is, I think we need a new coach before June in an ideal case scenario. That someone prepares us for the, anyone who comes in, sorts out a few basics, um, I feel would allow us to, to rectify the problems and the mistakes that are there in the system. Anyone. To me, anyone who comes in. Therefore, we need to qualify, uh, uh, um, you know, um, you know, that's why, that's why, um, thanks, uh, uh, Orijit for becoming a member. Um, once again, thanks, Orijit, um, for becoming a member out here. Um, so therefore for me, uh, um, okay, it goes too much. I skipped your comment. Okay. If you could, uh, you know, um, one second, where was I then? Wait one second. There is news that a close writer may be a sister of a national team of players and it's one of the key contenders, Secretary of Post Is it true? There are rumors. Again, there are rumors that, that link certain people to the job of secretary. Uh, you know, um, yeah, that person has been linked. Someone who's worked with um, Reliance is being linked. Certain other people is linked. Someone has even linked my name to the job. So, again, there are a lot of rumors going around who could be the next Secretary General of the FF. So, Let's see what happens with, with that, with the, all those rumors. Shum says, can we envisage a better future of football in India and also update Dada and rural Bengal? The essence of football fanatics has faded a lot, especially how can we tackle that? Um, Shubham, I think the problem is of Bengal football to me, and it's not a problem of today, but it's, it has been a problem, I think, over the decades, is football is too concentrated in Kolkata to me. That is the IFA, again, the Indian Football Association, in brackets, West Bengal, older than the AFF, understand it. But on the other side, to me, is um, actually the fact that it's Kolkata football, Kolkata and its suburbs, and it needs to go out. The, the, the you know some of you outside of Kolkata might not know there's something called Cape football, which is like local local football, which you jumble up teams together, play football, and uh, 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 you know. So 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 let's see what happens. Um, that's much more popular. You know, you, you get huge crowds. It's like sevens in Kerala. That's a thing what you need to galvanize. The IFA needs to work to try and, and, and connect with the people across Bengal. That's its biggest challenge. And that's something which the IFA sadly, you know, has, has never been able to achieve. So for me, that is something which I feel is uh, uh, um, yeah, of a problem. And therefore, I hope things change uh, and change for the better. And, and, and you know, we, we, can, we can do something uh, let's see what happens. Jitna to chodo isil group stage se har hi bahar nikal jayege wo hi bada hoga. I can't know. That's 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 reality. The, the Champions League two is going to be much much tougher for Indian teams next season. Um, you know, and that will be interesting. Uh, Igor Stimach, we need a coach who controls the dressing room like Habas. Yes, yes. I think that's something that is needed for the national team, and not you know, not not like Stimach. Um, yeah, from us, accountable to Sai from performance in major tournaments, rather wash their hands off. So, I, this, to me, Sai is also not the body to question the AFF. Sai, Sai itself, 
you know, needs, needs to do things right. They're not funding the AFF in the right way. That has to be also questioned to me. Um, the AFF is, is, you know, should be accountable, yes. So, therefore, let's see what happens. Players like Ishan, Rahul, KP, Rahim, Udanta got so many chances in the national team, even after poor performances they play in ISL, whereas Lanzuala, a top scorer in Aleki, did not get chance. Driga, I said that yesterday. Top scorer, I league, great. But the level of the I league is lower than of the ISL. Everyone is talking this. Even players, ex players, who are talking this. If this guy goes into the national team, do you think he will be able to compete? Do you think he'll be able to compete against the guys that he would have to? This guy competing against Uzbekistan, Syria, and um, Australia? Think about that guy playing, yeah, playing against a Harry Suter. So therefore, to me, let's be honest. We need to, we need to be honest in the things. I said it yesterday. I don't, you know, uh, I don't want India to play tiki taka possession play. Now, most important thing is to win the games. Even if we play bus park, we need some identity. We don't even know what's a game style. Again, I can learn to me, the topic of game style does not appeal. Whoever is the coach, look at your player pool, not only the ones who are playing at the moment in the team, but also as I said, your pool of 50, 60 players, what game style can I develop? And one thing Bob Houghton used to say to me again and again, and that's someone who's worked around the world and has been successful around the world. You need to understand that someone who might be good in the then I league, he used to say, might not be suited to my style of play or he might not be good enough to play international football. That's, to me, that's a brutal reality. That's a, that's a reality we don't want to discuss, right? So to me, very, very important is whoever is the coach needs to understand. Uh, to, and that's why, that's why, you know, again, Jigga, you, you're talking about it. He can be the top scorer, but the I league to me is, a, is the second tier league. And Someone I, I read the other day, uh, um, you know, uh, was telling, sorry, was telling uh, there are players from I-League sides who play for other foreign national teams. So the foreigners are no, normally better than our players, aren't they? That's why they're playing in India. Right? Sharif, the man who scored the winner for Afghanistan, played for Gokulam, has played for Churchill. Name me one I-League player who's of his class. Name even one ISL player who played the other day who was of his class. So we need to be, again, I, I question certain people's capability to understand things. You know, do they have the intelligence to understand these things? Or are they just making comments to be in the news? Because again, we go out to this whole PR thing. When people say, P.K. Banerjee and Amal Datta were better than all the foreign coaches. Then you have to question if these people actually understand football. And I'll do that. What have these Indian coaches delivered? The quality that is on the pitch at the moment is their production. They need to question themselves. Don't question others. Question yourself first. That gets me angry. None of these guys do that. None of these guys do that. Under constant with some identity, we know what was our style it did, didn't matter if it was bad or good but at least it was giving us results I can't know that's, that's one of the things I go back to that again but people at the time were criticizing Stephen for it it's boring we don't want to see this now the same people are shouting you know what we want Stephen back so what do you want this fickle mindedness another issue to me you know do you think we need a disciplinarian as a coach, someone with maybe the experience coaching one of the Asian countries? Yeah, I think discipline is a must in the Indian football team. I think the example of Habas, even Khalid Jamil to a certain extent shows me that, you know, you need some level of discipline with the players, uh, uh, you know. So therefore, let's see what happens.
Uh, we need an English coach who can keep the team disciplined. Discipline, yes. English coach, I don't go. Give me. Please give importance to Indian centre forward. They do not can play without foreign players. They're giving tough fight to any strong Asian team. Do you want an ISL without foreigners? Driga, that's the question that you then need to ask yourself. Do you want an ISL without foreigners? That to me is 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 the question that 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 there is, right? So therefore, to me, um, um, you know, we 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 have a lot of problems. Sorry, yeah. Uh, if play with foreign midfield defenders, how can foreign forwards score goals? I said, Indian centre forward grow. The, the Indian forwards need to be better than the foreigners. Sunil Chetri has been playing with foreigners, right? Sunil even got, went to the wing. And we have that with other countries as well. You have other countries where, where their players play somewhere or the other, don't even, are not even starting players, come back to the nation and are, uh, are heroes of nation, right? So our players need to be, and I take uh, Bidya Sagar as a good example. Bidya Sagar was the highest goal scorer in, in the I-League a few years back at Trao. How many matches has he played in the ISL for BFC, for Kerala Blasters, and now even for uh, Punjab FC? You know? I remember people used to tell me two, two years ago, two, year, two, three years ago, two years ago, when I was doing, um, was an expert for the I-League, Bryce Miranda Churchill, good player, no doubt about it. But I said, for Bryce Miranda to be close to getting into the national team, he needs to regularly play in the ISL. How many matches has he played at Churchill or Punjab? See, to, give me, to, to give you perfect examples, these players need to be better than others to be able to play. Right? Ishan Pandita was getting a chance because he was a super sub. If you look at Goa, to some extent, even Jamshedpur at the time, he did score a few goals here and there as a substitute. But now, that seems to be gone. So therefore, we, we need to find solutions. We need to find solutions. Uh, actually, the problem with getting new coaches who has no familiarity with Indian football is they will have their own ideas about India and they will have to take a lot of time to settle in. Um, Ashu, my counter example is Peter Kratke at Mumbai City. Would you have thought in December that Mumbai City now, ahead of the international break in March, would be top of the league? A quality coach will do his homework, get down to work and get results. Simple as that. Simple as that. And that there are enough of these examples. And some and we need someone for me to come in who's not this these cross connection, these interlinks are a problem. We need to destroy these cobwebs which are there everywhere in Indian football. That's something which needs to happen. If playing good teams improve the game, uh, then playing Australia, Uzbekistan, Syria, how did they explain the results against Sudan? These are all excuses by players to keep their spots. There, there are no, to me, there are no excuses. To me, 100%, these are not, there's no, uh, uh, you know, uh, excuses for playing the way you played against Afghanistan. Forget the home game, even the away game. If, if I am being honest, Afghanistan should have won both the matches. You know, that would have been a, a true depiction of those two games, at least to me, Right. So that's my concern. Is uh, East Bengal looking to sign eight foreign players? Vedant, I'm hearing that they want to sign eight players uh, because they want to, you know, get into the uh, Champions League. Um, so therefore, to me, let's see what East Bengal do. They've got ambitious plans, and I hope East Bengal can finally be a team to count uh, in, in in the Indian Super League. You know, that is it would be good for them, but it would be good for Indian football as well. Jigga says, "Vision 2047. Be patient. It takes time." Are all Jumla to loot money? Just ask for results, question selection, coach tactics, heroism. Just do these simple things. Even everything will fall into place. Um, Jiga, I agree um, because to me there are two points in this. You can have a long term vision. You should have a long term vision. Where do you want to go? It might be a twenty five year, a thirty year, a fifty year plan. The Japanese, I remember did a plan in the 90s for 2050. Their aim is in 2050 to be, to be FIFA World Cup winners. But what we fail all the time in Indian football with is implementation. That's our biggest problem. 
We've had plans. Rob Barn in 2013 did a brilliant plan with Scott O'Donnell. You know? And that's a worrying factor to me because I remember I was sitting on a panel in Goa for a conference with Scott O'Donnell and I asked him, what do you think about the implementation part of this plan? He said, I don't know. I don't think it'll be, you know, we can do something. So therefore we need to be realistic of where we, you know, how we can get to those plans and how we implement. If, as long as we don't implement and, and we do, again, I, I say what I said yesterday, leadership and the right people to run, drive the thing with knowledge and understanding. That is the only way that will take us forward. That is my biggest, biggest concern at the moment with Indian football, because we're not getting anywhere with all the conversations which are happening left, right, and center. Nothing is happening per se that will take us forward uh, in regard to Indian football and, 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 and the success of Indian football in regard to growing the game in the right direction. That's my biggest, uh, uh, you know, that's the biggest thing. Uh, Vedan says, have us no formula to win ISL, steady defense, good long ball that works in ISL, not in national team. Um, no, Habas, Habas is another thing. He has the foreigners. This season, Habas is playing a different style of p- football because he has Petratos, he has Cummings and he has Sadiko in the team. But his most important man is Yoni Kauko. Yoni Kauko is, the mo- in my opinion, the most important man. You know, that is something that, 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 that makes him different. Does it work in the national team? I think Habas would be practical enough to find a solution for the Indian team to play different. I would think so. But again, um, you know, it would be difficult to say. Uh, Driga said, do not listen to so-called experts. They always voice where they benefit. Yeah, that's, I couldn't have summed it up better. Shubham, the district league has not happened this the last four years after COVID. Professor was much better after a match. Would gather three to four K crowd. Howrah, for example. I think COVID has destroyed a lot of things, uh, not only in Bengal, uh, 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 you know, uh, and uh, you know. So therefore, um, yeah, uh, uh, that's those are those are the realities, you know. Um, that's the that's the thing. Um, can anyone help me with the stat? Of how many goals Sunil has scored this ISL season? How many penalty goals and how many goals from the last ten games in the national team? How many penalty goals? Yeah. Um, I think if you go through the general stats on the ISL website, and if you go through uh, the India stats on on FIFA, um, you'll be able FIFA.com. You'll be able to find those 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 infos. I think those are readily available. Uh, when Igor said ISL performance does not guarantee national team selection, he meant do not question my favoritism on national team selection. Um, maybe, maybe. Uh, Vedan says uh, Larindwa deserves to me no, to me no. A good season in the ISL, even with the goals he scored. Uh, in the I-League he scored, does not deserve a place in the squad of the Indian team. There, you know, this is, I-League is not, if I-League is a standard of football, then we'll be fighting against Bhutan down the road and not against Afghanistan or Pakistan or Bangladesh or Nepal. That's my concern. Let's be, let's be brutal about this. Uh, uh, any ISC team that picks players based on whether someone has played for national tissue open their eyes wide. Again, that's, that's a weird rumor because I think Again, our player pool is so limited. I I think there are certain clubs who will say, listen, you know what? This is a, a national team potential, but he's not being called up. I'd rather pick that player. So therefore, not ev- again, we go back. Not everything which is being reported in the media is right. There are certain yeah, clubs and links of players where it works, but not for every club, in my opinion. It was that if Sai actually wants to do something, then bring OCI card holders. Trust me, Steve much was a good coach. The only mistake he did was he shake hands with Patricia J3. Players are not good, simple. Uh, Steve much is not a good coach, in my opinion. So, so therefore, you know, I, I wouldn't agree to that. Is Open Signal selection up the national team? And what is the end result they have got out of it? Well, again, I, I don't think that, uh, you know, all of, it, all of it is true. I call Don, thanks a lot um, for, for this contribution. Always welcome. Um, and again, if you have a question, do post it. Ash is asking, can PM take action against ego firing? It's a disgrace for a country that affects the most when you work abroad. You have to face various national Chinese friends making fun of me. Ashley, um, welcome to the club. You know, um, I don't, the prime minister could get involved, but then, you know, maybe the AFU would ask the government. Uh, you know, uh, so therefore to me, um, yeah, I don't see it. Let's see what happens. I think Sun Chetri will not retire till he somehow scores 100 goals. Let's see. You know, there's a, a lot of things. 
आज तो मीट है ना एफ की तो क्या आज की न्यूज आ सकता है को इको स्टीमर सैक आई डोंट थिंक देयर विल बी न्यूज़ टुडे आई थिंक देयर हैव टू वर्क ऑन सर्टेन थिंग्स टू मेक इट पॉसिबल सो सो देयरफॉर it was just not true steve not give us that much result compared to igor only good results against than compared that with steve machi made us win against lebanon kuwait oman it's a draw with iraq qatar uh i think steven overall there was a plan behind it and 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 steven could have uh, you know uh, um, you know and af should beg daily af it doesn't work that way you know it's not doesn't work you know eco sorry um the requests have been made and it's for the government to move you can't go back if daily you don't get on people's nerves they then say you know forget it i don't want to get involved in the matter so therefore this is to me that's not the way to to do it uh, exactly we need to get out of this quota man they have to excel amongst foreigners too if they want to prove themselves that's the thing india is so much in the sort of quota thinking that you say are bhai i league he's playing good le lo usko le lo take it take it uh, uh, you know uh, 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 so therefore to me um you know so that's the thing um and i got known as a reaction to ekoro said list under constant we never lost to a lower ranked team um yeah we did but that was really uh dalrem thanga still can understand what david and renzuala who are in great form were left out we need to give them a chance to me as again as i've repeated multiple times and I've, i'll say this again and again to me Uh, these boys are not national team material yet they have to prove themselves at the highest level and the highest level is isl if they can play regularly in the isl first team then we can talk right that's the problem uh mumbai city is an exception as they already in cfg uh, um have similar kind of setup in most of the clubs yes agree ashu that's one of the thing now i find all the discussion in football completely unnecessary we're just getting fooled by people we should accept that our players are not good well i've said that you know uh uh, uh um so so for me um to me uh, we we need to again there's a realization the coach was not getting uh the coach was not getting the best out of the players and on the other side um um the players are not as good as as, as some might think right so therefore that's another thing um therefore uh, uh, uh let's see what happens uh, vignesh today meeting going sai if what do you think steam match in or out i again i i think uh, 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 uh you know it's it's uh, i don't think it's going to happen today i i you know the conversations have been so therefore i'm waiting for to see what happens let's see what happens ekoro says only osai can let vikram come with a votes uh, just like uh, look how sai is taking the matter because of angry fans various indian origin people should write to sai and sports ministry ekoro i've been dealing with the sports ministry on this matter for different sports ministries for now for 23 years it's not it's not again please write in please write in it's not going to make a difference take it from someone who's dealt with these people if they wanted to do it forget this government even under the congress praful patel and priran priran das munsi a former president were ministers in those government still it wasn't changed i don't see it happening when will indian uh, when will ego steam much go indian food and football shine hello welcome um shine good question i still don't know i would hope sooner than later uh i think everyone would like that so we're waiting um for that so yeah let's see if we have to pay ego or not to fire i would say brakan should be penalized i believe he got commission to extend his contract and an f committee again speculations if you can't prove it you know that's always you know nowadays everyone likes to make uh, speculations if again can't prove it, what is it but someone like habas will be a double salary of steam arch plus his entourage and assistants manuel castellana will be a huge salary again it's not a question i again i to me uh, uh you know um right coach and i would take someone who's new fresh no links uh how about given a chance to another croatian peter sigert who had great success with the team at the asian cup and appears to be looking for next assignment could be one of the names yeah why not peter is, is certainly someone who could be looked at what are chances of steamage getting sacked before kuwait game i think there are the chances since yesterday have gone up i would have said 
yesterday afternoon at the time when we were doing the live, I would have said, I don't think so. I don't see something happening. If you ask me now, um, I'll say that, you know, that, that, that something is possible, you know, that therefore, you know, we maybe we're looking in the right direction. Has any player taken responsibility and said sorry for the result versus Afghanistan? Haven't seen anything. I have not seen anything either. That's also a surprising, sad reality, but also a surprising fact. As a club, don't give chance to Indian striker how they will develop without playing uh, Dark Knight. Um, it's not a question of not giving a chance. If a striker is good, if a player is good, and I take Vikram as a good example. Vikram, last two seasons, substitute player at Mumbai City. Behind Changte and Bipin, you would have said, ah, not happening. Nothing much. Not happening. Look, look at this season. Des gave him a chance. Um, and Peter Krati gave him even more a chance. And suddenly Vikram is playing and scoring goals. So the point is, it is for you as a player. Each individual player has to work hard enough to try and get into the team. I see a lot of players who are happy with their high ISL salaries. We have spoiled players. Sorry to say that. The salaries in the ISL have spoiled the players, especially the younger ones. Because some of them are happy to get the salary that they have and not really work hard enough to try and get you know, into, 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 into uh, the situation where they can make a difference. Same silence after a Syria game. Yes, Steema should probably be put on a plane to Croatia for all the players to wake up. Jigger, again, Steema is one topic. The players is another topic. And again, I also said that. Tell me the 10, 15, 20 players who are much better than the current lot. That's the other, other problem. All of them are of a similar level. And the question to me is international experiences also count. So therefore, it's not easy. Why group it is in, in the playing 11 every time? His performance is really poor, not on the national team, but also as of the last three seasons. That's, that's, that's your opinion. Again, um, we should have tried out our players last year in the Tri-Nation and the Intercontinental Cup. That was the time to try out the players. We should ask that astrologer, when will Steemach be sacked? Well, if you have the contact details, get in touch with the astrologer and then find out. Uh, Nikhil, difficult to be a sports parent when you see how corrupt is our organization. Uh, Nikhil, if you, as parents, if you want your kid to succeed in sports, it's not an Indian problem. It's around the world. There will be stumbling blocks. You know, your kid might be better than X, Y, Z, but somehow or the other, it doesn't get a chance. To me, it's very, very clear that if we, um, and other sports are no different, but to me, the key is that parents should encourage kids to play sports. That's a very, very important thing. Shubham says, I've been following Indian football for the last 12 years, hoping for a positive football future. People like you continues to encourage us to follow the sports which we have got from our ancestors. Yes, Shubham, that's, that's an important thing. I think all those who are making calls to boycott Indian football, to boycott the national team, uh, don't do that. We should all continue. Uh, supporting Indian football. That's why I'm doing more than I normally do at the moment because I think we need to have, we need to get these conversations going. We need to keep these conversations going. We need to have these conversations. We need to let the outside world know what is happening. You realize I am talking to people. Again, I'm most probably spending more, uh, 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 you know, um, um, to 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 uh, um, to convince people to to take the right step. So there. Therefore, we need to work on that. Um, Chet is a politician. He cannot be our idol. You can be both, right? But again, and then you, you uh, I'm talking against uh, Sunil. Again, um, I don't have any proof of, of any of these allegations. So I know that there people tell me that, but I don't have any proof. And to me, um, it's a problem. And that needs to be handled, you know? So, so, so therefore, something needs to go. Why Ego must select BFC players or closer to Sunil who are not good in ISL, like Udanta is a big example. Uh, good example, Art Shubo, but then my one question will be why hasn't Sana been picked? There's my one counter example to this whole allegations that, that are there. Why has Udanta not uh, Udanta has not been picked? 
understand? Sana Singh has not been picked. He, he got transferred in the winter to BFC. Shouldn't Sana Singh then be part of that BFC gang? Nikhil is there. Just just throwing up a question. I don't know if, if anyone has an answer to this. Do you think uh, ISL has maybe reduced the player pool since before or it's, it's a drop of quality? The quality earlier, I, it's, it's not an ISL problem to me. Um, to me, it's more of a problem of how we have, you know, worked on our players um, and, and what kind of quality are we bringing out. It cannot be in the old days, let's say 20 years ago. We had the Tata Football Academy. 25 players coming out, the best of the best. You get your Renity Sings, your Mahesh Gaulis, your Deepak Mandals, even Udanta is a, is a TFA product. Uh, Subrata Pal, Shubhashi Shroy Chaudhary, all these guys. Uh, Miles from Tulunga, Chota Mama, this, Blalad Puya, all these guys came out there. Uh, the, now we have loads of academies. Um, but we have, so, so say, instead of quality, we've gone for quantity. But that quantity is not good enough because um, that's, that's my problem. We, we, are not, we are not working towards the pyramid to produce the best. We are producing mediocre players. That should be the question asked to the system, to the coaches, to the academies. What are you producing? Because you're not producing good enough. Ask all these academies, all the clubs, ask them. The, play, the national team is the outcome of the players because in the... Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. It got, just got thrown out uh, of the system. Sorry, it's happened. Uh, yeah. Um, so I was just saying towards the end, I hope you can hear me um, um, again. Yeah. Uh, to, me, to me, the question is, um, there are players who end up in a senior system like a league of the ISL. And the same can be said about the NFL and, and I league in the past as well. There will be players who will improve and there will be players who will sort of stagnate and there will be players who get worse. My prime example is a Changte who was very talented in his DSK days, even got a call up to the Indian national team on his debut against Afghanistan, scored a goal, was 18 at the time. Decent player in the ISL. I remember, we, if some of you might remember, we took him to Norway, tried to put him in picking Stavanger in 2019. Still on a decent level, gets picked up by Mumbai City and then suddenly improves. That's a good example. But there are X counter examples, which I'm not going to mention, where the players have stagnated. Again, look at a lot of players from our under 17 World Cup squad. Not everyone is like an Apuya. Apuya is another example who has actually gone up in the graph. Anwar Ali is another one. Uh, but a lot of them have. have remain at a level or have, have, have gotten worse. And that's our biggest problems. For me, players are as responsible as Timach says Vedant. Yes, players certainly are as responsible. Gurpit will come after one month to apologize after one month as he did last time or someone else just to brainwash. Yeah, but at least he did say sorry, right? I'll give him that credit. Ego Timach must be sacked now so that a new coach can get the crucial two months time to organize national camp in April May and select his players and drill them in a system. Agree, Rigger. Agree. Totally agree with you on this point. And you add, Steamers had enough chances. Indian football needs new coach who deploy a style suitable to our players. My saying. You know, so for me, that's very, very important. Um, why Manvi is playing all games? What is strategy behind it? What was the coach plan? Didn't get it at all. 
Manvir is, a spe- in my opinion, a very special case um, because I feel uh, uh, um, is I could have questioned him in November or even in Jan, which where I didn't think he was the right fit for us at the time. But he did score the winner against Kuwait, even though he didn't play the best of games, but he did score the winner. So, And he was asked to play as a number nine, so he did his job. On the other side, um, now, just before these international matches, Manvi Singh played some very good football for Mohan Bagan Super Giant. And it felt like, I don't know if, if he has a clone or a twin or someone who played for the national team. So to me, and this is something not on him, there are multiple players who we can speak about who did not even get close to the form of that, what they were playing in the ISL just seven days, ten days earlier. So that shows you that is the, is the player really motivated? Is, is, are the problems in the team getting too much? Is the coach? All these things. And therefore, yeah. Again, after the first match, yes, I would have changed it. But the question to me is, a lot of people asked, again, even experts said, you know, Liston Colasso needs to play. Liston Colasso, the less said, the better. And to a similar extent, also the same can be said of Brandon. Because to me, Brandon, Jigson, as well as Anwar Ali, are not as fit as they need to be to play their best football. All three of them. That's another problem. That if you want to speak about it. Cartoon Studio says, Agar ego steamach ko abhi ni sack kya to Qatar or Kuwait bhi bohut buri tera India ko hara rege. Yeah, I think that's a that's a danger that we could lose. Um, um, and 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 it's a, it's a danger that we need to look at. Um, need to avoid. I feel we need to avoid, and therefore I think uh, we need a new coach um, as early as possible. Nickel says, do you think RFDL is producing some talent at least? I think RFDL is trying to create something. Um, I know, I know uh, some of the coaches in the system. I've worked with them uh, at Round Glass in the past. Some good, very good coaches. Um, they're producing talent, but uh, um, you know, and and some of them have gone in again with a lot of hype, but have made it. Mohammed Nimil, I think at Goa is a good example. Uh, Franklin at, at Mumbai City is another one. So there, there are a few players who are now coming through that RF. DL system. So I think, yes, um, RFDL is something, uh, hopefully will produce better players. But again, they've gone to Japan, lost heavily to the Japanese uh, schoolboys. Again, it, there's a lot of reality check and they realize it and they're trying to work on it and trying to prove it. Again, uh, Arata used to be with them. Now it's with Intakashi. So yeah, that's an interesting one to see. Uh, of course, there's no support for them. Every other team around the world getting better. But here we are watching this shit for 10 years. Now only follow RU teams. No, I think you need to follow the senior team as well because we need to be critical. I think this criticism which is coming out now needs to be there. I was critical also last year when the Indian team was winning the SAF. I was there in the semis and the final in Bangalore and saw the games. We didn't play well. We won it. We won it on penalties. There, Gurpreet Singh Sandhu was our main man to get us the trophy. But we didn't play well. So that's the problem that I see that, that you know... Um, um, so therefore, for me, it is it's something you know which which didn't work. Uh, Ig says Igor always carrying. He don't have centre back. But I say every team player with an semi don't give them chances. Play with Rahul plays as right back at Mumbai. Um, yeah, right right back. Rahul has played right back. Rahul has even played at centre back at Mumbai City. And but my question is again to me, um, there's one player who I'd like to have seen. I've mentioned him multiple times in the last few days, few weeks. Sana Singh to me should have been playing for the national team. But for some reason, Ego Stimach has not been picking him. So that's part of the problem um, of, 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 of the system uh, to me um, that Ego sadly has not picked the guy. Uh, no signal. Yes, I know. Uh, Deepak says, yes, enough bashing. It's time to question academies. What are they doing? This should be our conversation going forward. Deepak, exactly. I think that's the... To me, the key conversation um, should be Besides, again, we are talking, I talk about the pyramid, the, the top. The national team is at the top, the academies are at the bottom, and everything else is in between. To me, the key question is, the academies around India are producing the players, have the coaches. 
are, have they in the last 10, 15 years produced better quality players? And to me, the simple answer to this question, the simple answer to this question is a big no. But none of these people, not none, that's too hard, too harsh. A lot of these people will pat each other on the back and will not agree to that they're not producing quality players. Biggest problem. They are also doing their own PR. That is our question. We need to question the quality of coaches at grassroots and youth level, even uh, in the lower divisions. If we want better players, you can't give it to an ISA coach and say, listen, make this player world class. And he can't even stop a ball properly or he can't trap a ball properly. We saw that with the national team the other day. So for me, very, very, very important. Uh, 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 you know, so that's something, you know, um, Ashley makes an observation. Most of the players in the squad are from BFC or X, still BFC struck next season, something fishy. Again, um, it's all linked to the discussions. Conversation is not given to him. It says, only me says, Koma Tatal vanished, Rahul Kipi going down each day. Yeah, that's part of the problem. That's part of the problem. You know, I can add to a list, you know, Boris Singh, Jitendra, um, Girat Singh, you know. Um, again, counter examples would be a Prab Sukhan who's playing solid for East Bengal. But, you yeah. know. Which player from current India squad do you think can compete at Asia? I think none. Let's be honest. None. Sunil, two years ago, I would have said most probably. But the rest, none at the moment. Uh, Vedant saying, Mandir playing with so much confidence with players like Petatos, Kauko and Cummings. Yes, this is, this is another very important point, in my opinion. Our Indian footballers are much more confident when they know there is, there is an experienced foreigner next to me who I can pass the ball to and if there is an issue, he'll take care of it. I feel another problem because you don't force these kids, these boys, sorry, not kids, these boys to take charge of matches. You rarely see that. You, they might do it once in a while, but they're not doing it consistently over a season. That is part of the, in my opinion, that's part of the problem. That's why, to me, Apuya has been one of the better players. You know, that's why when Apuya was not playing, I was always saying, Iko Stima needs to play him because he's one of those who takes charge, has learned a lot from uh, Ahmed Jahu. You know, so therefore, that's something. Who changed the terms? Why is then in time extension to June, if we make it to round three? June 2026. Um, that was put into the last contract by Shaji Prabhakaran. Uh, only me, few Indian players look good in ISL because they get continuous supply from foreign players in the team. Out of 10 shots, three may hit the target, one may go in. That's the story, Manvelist, etc. Only me, that's, yeah, that's, a, that's what I'm saying, right? We, we depend on the foreigners and the foreigners uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, it would be interesting to see how we never can if it out because the owner has been screaming horse for a while now that he's producing World Cup patch. Again, let me, you know, let, let, let them produce better players for the current system and then we'll talk about the long term thing. He never bothered to care for his own country and was a terrible coach there. It's our fault to believe this guy would care for another country as a coach. See much out. Yeah, that's your opinion. Do you think in, in the long we have to uh, deflate uh, the salaries as a player and difference in salary uh, one and two division must be narrowed down if it's possible uh, and you're weird. Sh show them there. Two things come in. One, we have a limited players pool. So when they are fighting for a Thapa, a Sahal, an Apuya, the salaries go up. Right. And that's that's part of the problem that we have. And to to deflate the uh, to deflate the salaries, you would have to have to have to create a system somewhat um, in trying to 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 make it work. Um, I don't see it because the salary cap in the past didn't work. And when, uh, 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 you know, um, but we need to. Uh, uh, yeah. So if, I don't know. I don't know. So for me, it's very, very clear. Um, salary um, in the ISL will depend. Um, yeah, what's going to happen? Very, very difficult, but I don't see that happening at the moment. Kya coach, badne se player ka skill badal jayenge? No, I don't think the skill, uh, Sagar. I think, um, forget the skill, but if this coach goes, 
the there would be another drive in the players you know so for me at the moment the, the players are not playing the best football so therefore you know um we need to we need to do better than what we're doing at the moment uh regards in september 22 steam was contract was going to be for one year if we made it to asian cup quarter finals mm-hmm. no no that was never the case sorry uh ay7 football says um sportsman is pressuring ff is it good or we could get banned by fifa um i think the sports ministry is not pressuring the ff i think they uh, 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 uh you know uh um i think the question here is is that is the federation having conversations with the sports ministry i think they should they should always have these conversations um i said that to the sports ministry a while back actually to be very honest but um um you know and then you need to have exchanges so uh, 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 uh you know so let's let's see let's see let's see where we go it seemed in the last game some players were forced to play the match Shubham, yeah, that that could have been the case. If uh, Chris says, if I'm not wrong, then there was a technical committee meeting scheduled for today, which apparently going to decide the future. You know, I don't remember, but read this on TOA. You know, they had some some meeting, some some meeting supposedly take took place uh, late yesterday evening, and look who we have here as a guest. Suddenly, boom! Uh, good yeah. good good afternoon, Akshat. Um, yeah, good evening and, from uh, Yeah, good evening, uh, and. Um, yeah and then people were talking and discussing on how to uh, what to do and i think the the technical committee is also feeling a little bit of the heat because they have come under criticism right and none of, again um, some people care some don't and it seems to me good from even from conversations uh, 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 you know um, let's see uh, you know so therefore let's see what happens Sanjay says what about team selection bharat chhetri uh, can play for uruguay club but not for under 23s again the player is gone there they they chose him and he was not in the picture for the under 23 so therefore uh, that's not a question the day we get a ball playing goalkeeper god knows how much he would make given ball playing ability is such a rarity in football yeah exactly i mean you we are asking and the thing is i feel akshita correct me if i'm wrong um that a lot of people are spoiled by european football they expect indian footballers to do what Let's say, I don't, are you? No, you're not wearing an LFC jersey, are you? I'm wearing okay, a Slytherin jersey. Ah, okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> um, so, 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 uh, you know, they expect us to do what I don't know, what a Kevin De Bruyne can, or I don't know. Um, un, my my biggest problem is is unrealistic expectations from our players. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I, I, I don't know why. Don't these people watch ISL? to see what the reality truly is that's my watch, that's my concern yeah yeah if you watch isl you follow even thoda watch you don't even have to follow i league you, you don't have to go that far away also you just have to watch isl to know what the standard truly is and even in isl we are you know often spared because we have foreign players but that's the but right i think that's the that's the big thing that the foreign players i think take care of a lot of things and that's the you know um you know uh shahad jani said do away with the salary cap asking to put in x amount a salary to invest 25 times in ground gas roots it's not it's not going to work shahad the the point is if i want to play a player um and and if i want to keep the system going i can have a personal contract with him and say you know you you represent my brand or something you know i can give him an endorsement deal i can work around the salary cap in an indian context doesn't work because everyone does jugaad that's the you know i've looked at the model in america which i like i like the american model in regard to how they 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 organize their finances because even in europe it's uncontrolled right it's it's this funny discussion again we have an lfc fan here uh, uh, or a manu fan will always blame manchester city for the investment that's gone into the club and whatever but even lfc and man you have gotten american investment into them right you know or look at at the moment chelsea so the point is that the american model would be ideal but can you implement an american financial sports model in an indian context 
And I will say no because people will do Jugaad all the time. And I said, these endorsements are an easy way. Even in America now, David Beckham is doing that, right? Messi has a certain salary at Inter Miami. But even, I mean, he's getting a certain percentage of, of Inter Miami streaming. Apple is yeah, paying yeah. Messi. I mean, there are ridiculous models of it. But again, they know they know the, the value of, of, of Messi, right? They understand that the value that Messi brings to American uh, soccer, I have to say, because if you say American football, it's something else. Um, so therefore, we need to be realistic that these control mechanisms, which potentially could be utilized, people have been working around. And therefore, the ISL has given up on that. On the grassroots fund, yes, there was, I remember we had in the first season, um, uh, a regulation which said, you know, you have to spend two crores on either grassroots or youth. So we at Mumbai City said, you know what, we will not create youth football now. Let's focus on the grassroots. Let's create centers across Mumbai. And in the long run, we'll have a youth team. That is how an Ayush Chikara has come up. You know, so therefore also people always saying, hey, listen, ISL doesn't produce talent. That's BS. Right? Of course, the players get more chances in the I League and then come up in the ISL. That's normal progression that happens around the world. Not every player is, let's say, Wayne Rooney who jumps into the first team at Everton and a few late years later is then at Man United. It doesn't happen, you know. Uh, or to take one of Akshita's favourite, Dominic uh, Shovoshlai uh, didn't end up at Liverpool straight away. He had to work his way up in, 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 uh, in Hungary, then go to Austria, then go to Germany and then go to Liverpool. There, there is a He's way of working. Up, yes, yes. Erling Haaland, like me, very wise. Like, Think about Erling Haaland. Very good, very good example. Uh, because I've worked in Norway and, and this, this is a big conversation. And Erling Haaland had one advantage. His father is an ex, ex footballer. Alf Inger Haaland himself is an ex footballer. Um, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer wanted to sign Haaland from Molde and he's an ex Molde head coach. His father said, No, go to Salzburg. Salzburg, you'll, you'll, get, you'll learn your basics and then take the job. What did he do from Salzburg? Did he go to the Premier League? No, he went to Borussia Dortmund, developed further, and then went to the Premier League. And that is what I would say to some of the young players we have in our system. Maybe go to the I-League, get enough game time, get playing time for one or two years, take less money, and then as an established player, go into the ISL. Yeah. And I think, Sorry, Alba, do you think that there are also people, I mean, I have two questions here. Firstly, if, I mean, there's also a sort of a demand and supply game here, right? The supply of players is less, so obviously they, they can charge the money that they are getting right now. And also, if we, if we see, I mean, I'm, I'm uh, reading uh, Bobby Firmino's autobiography, and over that, that, in that book also he's mentioned that, you know, there was there was a time where, where he could have gone to Europe, uh, sorry, gone to England, but, but his agent and his team and, you know, people around him um, encouraged him to stay. And when he stayed, after a point, he got an offer from Liverpool, right? Like, do you think that the the agents right now in our country are actually giving good advice to the players and that can benefit them in the long run? See, there are two sides of the story um, in regard to agents. Bobby Firmino is a good example because I'm, I've, I've, I've dealt with him at Hoffenheim. Uh, lovely chap. And certain Brazilians, I, I say, or Argentinians, or the South Americans are wise to choose clubs um, in not, not, not the top clubs, you know, there's certain players who go to, a, to I don't know, to a Man U, Liverpool, Chelsea, Barca, uh, Real Madrid, or, or even Bayern or PSG. But there are others, Bobby, a lot of Brazilians have done it, used Germany as a base. Yeah. Certain players have used Shakhtar Donetsk as a base, the Zerbi's ex-club. I mean, I, they had more Brazilians than, than Ukrainians at some stage, right? So that's a key thing. But the point is, when even I League top scorers, I, I think the Bidya Sagar example to me is a perfect example. Top scorer at Trout. You go to BFC, you go to Blasters, and then you're now with Punjab FC. You're not getting time. Are you, were you ready to play in those positions? So to me, that is something, you know, um, and, and, and Vedant makes a very good point is ISL foreigner qualities increasing young players like Pepra, Talal, etc. coming every year. That's another thing. But we're getting also those experienced hands, you know, those, we're getting a Jason Cummings. A Jason, a Jason Cummings normally ends up in the Middle East or in China, right? Um, he's come to India. Uh, 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 Sadiku. 
surprise to me. A player who's, who's, who's experienced it. So we're getting, you know, Yoni Kauko came after the Euros to India. You know, uh, Greg Stewart, top player, Glasgow Rangers, all of, you know, so we're getting these quality guys to come to India. Uh, 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 you know, and, and uh, 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 so, the, you know, that's another thing. And uh, Ashu asked, and also I see uh, Nigi Stream, yeah, from KL now. Yesterday he pointed out one serious issue. The ISL Cup, the signing young players for four or five contracts so they won't go to the rival clubs. That happens around the world, right? Um, I, will, I will try and uh, fix down a player for a long time. But my, the question for me then is, if that player, and we have multiple of these boys, we're now 22, 23, who've been now three, four years on the benches. For me, I have to decide, Am I using him for five years and he's just a bench player for me? Or can I use him maybe two years as a bench player, then he's sending out for a year, this and that, everything, and then develop? I, I liked, for example, Bayern Munich did it very wisely over the years. Um, Tony Kors, good example. They sent him for one and a half years to Leverkusen. Uh, David Alaba went to Hoffenheim for, for one and a half years. Uh, Philipp Lahm, World Cup winning captain, was sent to Stuttgart for one and a half years. They came back to Bayern as established players then got their chance, and the rest, as they say, is history. So that is, that. I think career planning at the clubs is something which I don't, you know, which I know some of the clubs are doing. I know at Mumbai City, they're trying to do it, but it's difficult. You know, Gianni Nico was signed. They send him to Intakashi, and Gianni Nico is playing at Intakashi regularly and is one of the best Indian players in the I League, right? So that is something which, which I think we need to do, uh, um, you know. Aniket asks, which coach should India bring in uh, if he got a sack? Again, we go to that question. Uh, Aniket and KJ saying, Kya uh, Igor much sack hoga, yes or no? I, I think uh, um, um, so. It's. Uh, I think the reality is, I, I said that earlier, Akshata, um, that I feel what, what af, you know, when we were talking yesterday and after we were talking yesterday, I felt the likelihood is, is, is limited. But my feeling is, after having spoken to certain people yesterday and today as well, is that the likelihood that Simach could get fired has increased x-fold. Yeah? Because the technical committee had a, had a, had a, had a short notice meeting yesterday. Um, I think the government is waking up. And I, and I said, and this might, you know, and you had a lovely session yesterday uh, with Drogba and, 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 uh, uh, and Playmaker India and in, in Musa. And, and, you, and I think Shashwat very realistically said a few things. And one thing what I realized of my conversation today is, especially today morning, is the classical media is important in the sense of newspapers, right? Hmm. That, that a TOI, a Hindustan Times, an Indian Express, a Telegram, these papers are writing very, very critical articles on the national team and on the FM. That even reaches the sports minister's desk, maybe even the prime minister's desk. The background conversations which are happening, even I am part of those conversations sometimes with certain people, are helping for people to realize, guys, you need to act. If the compensation is an issue, speak to people who can ensure that the compensation can be taken care of. If that, if that is the issue of not firing a coach, that's embarrassing. Because you need to factor in. And also the way the contract has been extended and the secretary is fired. So I think you have a legal bandwidth somehow to work on that. So yeah, yeah, I'm sure some good lawyers will be able to find loopholes in the contract. Exactly. Uh, this is a capitalist world. You can't control the market even if you want to. So we should stop going around about extreme measures of forcefully controlling salaries. I, I agree. You know? You know, that's something which is a problem. In fact, salaries bearing the Indian players are throwing Europe lower division of Asia, noting against earning a good livelihood. That's a fact. I think we should not forget that a lot of players come from humble backgrounds. For for them, 50 lakhs, 70 lakhs, a crore, two crores is a lot. Not only for them, for the whole families is a lot of money. I think if you've, I don't know if you've seen the, the comments that Endrick has made in the last few days, the young 70 year old Brazilian who scored against England the other day, the winner, who clearly said, you know what? I'm going to sign a big contract and I'm going to earn enough money for my family. And he's done that with his Real Madrid yeah. contract, right? So, so again, I'm taking these international examples. It's not, it's not an India-specific problem, but for, for him 
or for other players. That's what I'm saying. Bobby Firmino was wise to go for Hendrik. Yeah. Again, I don't know because you've got uh, Vinicius Junior. You've got potentially uh, uh, Mbappe may be coming in. Is it wise to join Real Madrid and 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 to get your position right? It it it's, it to me it seems like uh, Real Madrid is a good example where you still have Modric and Tony Kroos still there, right? And yeah. and Chouameni and Kamavinga are not getting the time. I mean, Kamavinga is sometimes even playing left back <laughs> when they don't have players. So therefore, deciding on where to play, career planning, and you you asked a question about agents. I think that's a big, big thing. Um, do we have mature agents who look at a career path of the player, or are they looking at the next summer or the next year, or a big contract for the player so the player is secure? Because sometimes it might be blamed on the agent, but it might also be on the pay, uh, player and his parents who say, "Arey, we want the money now. Can you secure us something long term?" Right? We have had players, n- not now because the salaries have. Grown too much in in Indian football, and forget ISL, even in the I League to some extent. That parents mm-hmm. and players, and the past players also <clears> joined. <throat> you know the railways, uh, the banks, the police services, whatever. So therefore, we have to find uh, the right the right uh, you know um, where where we're going. I mean, Ankit says. But I don't know the salaries they're getting. I think they can be also guided by some nice. Wealth management um, companies and you know <laughs> guide them where to invest the money. It's it's at the moment a lot of them are are, are, are uh, buying fancy German cars. So that's that's a trend I've seen in the last while. Ankit says, but I think a standard can be raised by playing with good teams like Morocco did. Sure, certainly. But the problem is no good team wants. Yeah, if you want to play a good team, you have to put money on the table. For international yeah. friendlies, if you want to play. You have to put money on the table, and it doesn't matter if it's Argentina or or Japan or a Korea or a South. You will have to put money on the table. They will not say, "Oh, you know what? Why after this week, and even before, why would someone want to play India?" I've always asked this question. No one is waiting to play us, and that's another reality. And I know even if Argentina comes to India, uh, they will not be bringing their main team, right? No, no, they would. Why not? So that that kind of a clause can be put. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See what what happened to Inter Miami when they went to yeah, Miami. Miami. Messi, Messi, Messi didn't play. So, for example, yeah, if this whole Argentina versus India match happens next year, Messi if and Messi is still playing, then there will be a contract because in Kerala, if Messi is playing, they're gonna go berserk, right? So therefore, let's see what happens. <laughs> it'll be it'll be a one month holiday leading up to that match. I'm sure. Um, Navneet said, "Would a glorified academy reserves league incentive incentivize? Sorry, the football clubs to invest in good academies. Very few ISL clubs invest at the grassroots level. If I'm not wrong, some of them are doing this. FC Goa, for example, has been very, very, very active at grassroots level for a number of years. They've now invested even into uh, local taluka grounds in Goa." Uh, BFC has been active uh, on 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 that front as well. The Blasters have done certain things, um, and you know, and and the Blasters now are you know bringing out the first players from the system. Uh, Mumbai City has since year one since been doing in grassroots. Uh, Northeast United at, are under Mandar are going to rebuild. Odisha is doing stuff with the help of the government. So again, I've got a number of clubs who are doing things. You know, Punjab received um, Round Glass do stuff as well. I don't know if I'm not wrong. BFC are also targeting much younger um, uh, children, also, right? Like trying to also younger. Yeah, but that for that they have the BFC soccer schools, right? So they have this city th- inner city thing. So there are different models of doing it. So I think the 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 problem is with with sort of. I don't like the word glorified. Maybe I'm wrong with that. Uh, 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 to me, to me is is something. Um, The problem is, I need strong local competition. I cannot travel across India in in a in a in a youth league as I'm traveling across in a in an ISL. For me, as that's why I always say, the I the India is not a a country; it's a continent, right? So for me, it's very very important that I find solutions, um, local solutions. You know, in Mizoram, you have a system from under six up to under eighteen, working. Manipur had it. Again, due to internal problems, it's not working. In Kolkata, you still don't have a proper system, right? Bengal does not have a proper system. Be- and Bangalore, very strong. Shaggy always says, very strong system for youth, right? Um, and so, therefore, I think it needs to be developed strongly. And 
I see if you think of the biggest clubs in Europe, yes, they do develop their talents. But most of the talent they get in are bought from somewhere else. So the talent is not produced, you know, 5% maybe for by the top clubs and the rest is produced by the rest of the system. Uh, I know also I have one question that uh, uh, you know, you mentioned the BSC um, soccer schools, right? So even in the soccer schools, are there sort of any agreements that the kids nurtured there have to stay with the club or something? Or no, it's just a pay for play. Soccer, yeah. some, some, some are paid programs, some some are uh, kids get, get, get stipend. So it depends. There are different models, you know. So 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 at academy level, anyway, you can't really retain a player because again, the parents are involved, uh, 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 you know. And um, you know, Ashad said, whatever you got, they do at least something would go into the grassroots. So else, how would the money trickle down? The the money would trickle down when the top clubs are making money. They don't make money, you know. So 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 therefore, that's that's the other problem that you know the elephant in the room that no one wants to discuss. And now, this the is Profits have gone down also, right? Or no? Or no, no there, there are no profits. There, they've been. I, I mean, mean, like they, the margin has gone down, right? No, the margin's gone up because you don't have any sponsorship. Mm. How, what is your central pool paying you? Your central pool comes in because you had hero and other things. How many sponsors do they have? I mean, what did I mean, you say yesterday? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So the, no the, the, spot. I mean, that's what I was trying to say. That the, 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 I mean, things were improving last season, right? But they've sort of gone down this season. Yeah. Navneet said stories of Azhar and Ayman are good examples of ISL products too. Exactly. So that's Navneet, very good examples of what Kerala Blast as well said. Kerala Blast as well, there are multiple clubs. So therefore, those people who say that the ISL is not producing talents, either they don't know or they're not knowledgeable enough or they're not saying it on purpose, right? Because th that it doesn't help their agenda. That is, this agenda business is the biggest problem in Indian football. You know, we have to, there's one agenda. One, that is for Indian football to be successful. Nothing, to me at least, nothing else. Ajay Chahan says, uh, we are at our lowest point right now, not getting up getting up early in Canada to watch Indian football, losing visibly not worth the time. Ajay, welcome to the club. I mean, my time difference is not as bad as yours, but um, but uh, staying up late the other day to watch India Afghanistan was very, very, very depressing. But again, um, so therefore to me uh, as well. And I repeat it, I, I don't, I don't want people to boycott Indian football because we need more people to come in. We need to, you know, jointly raise our voices. We need more people, more people to 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 talk about the critical stuff, about the things which aren't working. Because that's the only way that things will move forward. That's the only way, in my opinion, at least. It's the only way that things will happen. So therefore, for me, um, yeah, that's that's an important thing. Ashley asks, Aaron, do you think the drinks breaks is violating the FIFA law? It clearly mentions WBGD of more than 32 degrees. Does this affect at, interna uh, uh, at international level? Someone asked me yesterday about this. Yes, there are laws, but a league can independently decide that for reasons X, Y, Z, they can have water breaks in the leagues. And uh, so therefore, for me, um, it's it's something which, which has been there. Um, and therefore, uh, that is something which is which is which is there, um, and and of course, it's a commercial break. Let's be clear about it. it's a commercial break which has been there. It was there in the initial years because the ISL used to be played from October to December, very hot, very humid. So therefore, that made sense. But now they've kept it, and it's the the broadcasters are quite happy to have this short, you know, forty five minute to one uh, forty five second to one forty five minute would be long forty five second to one minute slot, and and then it works. Um, as always, guys, a lot of people watching, um, do like, share and subscribe. And of course, also follow, oh, sorry, <laughs> follow. Serial Sports. Yeah. Sports. Uh, uh, how, how much did Shashwat help you to get to? I'm on 1212 last I checked. Wow, so now now I need to get your, your followers to follow me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Can so you follow congrats, on all congrats. platforms? Congratulations, congratulations. Shashu did a brilliant job last night. Um, Shashu uh, asked, so how are we going to disrupt the demand supply equation and bring in some sense of parity in player salary without increasing the volume of players? You can't. You, you, you can't in the short term because you need better quality players coming into the system. The point that no one is asking is, why are the senior players still playing in the national team? Why is the 39-year-old Sunil Chetri playing? 
you know, with all Jugar and whatever and all the things that are happening in the team, if someone was better than him, Stimach is not an idiot, he would have played him. There is no striker who's come up in the last five years who has been better than him. And this is something that we have also been asking uh, for over a year now. That why are we not developing another striker? Why is that? I and mean, and a he here that he'll go away and then, then we will start to figure out how to fill that position. I yeah. believe we should be ready with that striker's replacement also, whoever replaces Sunil. Yeah. Uh, Anvit is saying about the Anvit national team player, do you think we should investigate his credibility before believing his stories? Is he really telling the truth or is he some salty bench player taking advantage of the situation? Um, and he, <laughs> very important to add these days, I'm not an ego steamer supporter, by the way. Um, see, Ankit, I can at least, out of my position, say that I have heard these stories for quite a while now. And we have, you know, I've had Hiren and Shayan in our evening discussions have mentioned it actually quite a number of times in the last year. And even I have hinted at it once in a while because I know even, again, this, this one allegation, I've heard from multiple national team players that the day before, the coach told you you are going to be in the starting eleven, and on match day you're out and you don't know why you're, why you're not there. I've heard from someone older who was suddenly called up to the national team after a long while and he said, I don't know why I'm here. I seriously don't know why I'm here. I'm happy to be here, but I know I'll get a minute. I understand that from the whatever the coach is communicating with me. So there are problems. There are there are problems. So so these things are, are not some fictitious creation of someone. You know, be bench players, yes, can be issue. But I know from players who have been starting, regular starting 11 players, that they have spoken about these issues. But... You know, I always say is, I in my position, as I work in, in I'm, I, I'm not a purely, let's say, a, a, a content creator like the others. I, you know, a big word. I don't see myself as a content creator, but I just have interactions and like to talk to you guys. Um, that someone working in this field, I cannot ex expose player XYZ and say, you know, this player actually in confidentiality has told me this. So I, I will not do that. So, but I know that this is something which has been going on for a while and it's one of those unspoken secrets of Indian football that people who work in the game have been knowing for years. And again, if you think things are bad, you know, now you know maybe 5%. I would have said a few days ago you knew 1%. But you know 5% of what the problems of Indian football are. The problems are way bigger. <laughs> so... But still, I will support Indian football. <laughs> uh, Ajay Chan says, "Provide form players from participating in ISL. That's going to be the end of the ISL. You know? Um, so, that's the thing. Vignesh says, just in breaking news, AFF president has considered a five-member committee to hold discussion with senior national team head coach and seek federation on the recent uh, and see much comments regarding his future. Um, didn't we see that after the Saturday <laughs> of last year? just asking for a friend. Yeah. I will only believe things when there is action. But again, I believe that we are closer to action than ever before. Even now, the president is getting involved. Even the, after the Asian Cup, there was something, right? He was asked to present a report. Yeah, but it didn't happen. Uh, now, sir, Ashupaji says, do you think it's not first favorite game of the country like Asian countries is why it's not developing at the same speed as them. It's not everywhere in the world the favorite, most favorite sport. It's not the most favorite sport, let's say, in America. Uh, in America, women's football is much bigger than the men's, so that's another interesting thing. It's not the first sport in South Africa. It's not the first sport in Australia. Um, not, it's not the first sport in Japan. Baseball is much bigger in Japan than football. So therefore, I don't think in, in what India's biggest problem as a sporting nation to me is India needs to become a multi-sports nation. We need to see England, South Africa, Australia. <clears throat> I've worked in the West, in, you call the West Indies, what we call the Caribbean. Um, we need to become a multi-sports country. It's simple. Yep. But cricket, but the problem really is this cricket is so big. The IPL is so big. 
that it sucks the 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 the, the oxygen out of any other thing to to survive. That's that's actually the biggest problem. Sure. If you see from brand perspectives, also just look at Royal Challenger, Bangalore's sponsors, for instance. The number of sponsors they have is just incredible. I mean, the planning that goes into IPL, you know, even receiving messages, emails from months that if you want to, you know, put our brand somewhere in the entire advertising spectrum. So much of planning goes into it, and now we have like so we had the normal World Cup. Now then we had um, the IPL. Now we have the T Twenty World Cup. So every brand is just there. Yeah, hundred percent. The and That's not the... it's not just football. Other sports are also suffering. No, no, it's 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 the whole ecosystem which is suffering, right? So that's my yeah. that's my concern. No? And it's, and even the sports that are excelling, for instance, like Rohan Bopanna, he 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 is ranked so high in doubles tennis. You know, he's got so much acclaim. Do you think any brand came forward to sign him as a brand ambassador? No, they just want to play safe. Yeah, and that's that's the point. Um... Arjun just said, just said one news that Sai wasn't happy with Steve Machan. He was born. Will be sacked along with Kalan Chowdhury and a few senior players. Sai has no say in 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 what happens with Steve Machan. I think that's the other point. The government per se has no involvement in the running of football. No say in a, any sport actually. If it gets involved, that sport should be banned by the global sporting body. But it's can, a government issue they, for me. Can they ask um, Mr. Chowdhury to design? No. Unofficial. That's no interference. Answer. Unofficially, yes, but not officially. You saw what happened in Brazil. The Brazilian courts removed the president. FIFA went to Brazil. Brazil, record world champions, and said, "Reinstate him, otherwise, ban." Ta da, bye bye. World Cup qual and Brazil is doing bad in the World Cup qualifiers. Even missing two matches might mean they won't qualify for America. And South America, nearly everyone is qualifying, right? So the Bra and then the Brazilian government got involved. Said, "Courts, please, 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 reinstate the guy, and you know, let the federation take care of the matter themselves." That's the problem, right? That we need to understand these things. And Aniket says, "Should India join CAFA? Then we have opportunities. Why should we? Again, it's not a question of if we want to join CAFA. The AFC has decided on the demarcations of the regions in regard to Asia: West Asian Football Federation, Central Asian Football Association, South Asian Football Federation, ASEAN, East Asia. It's not. It's not our decision. We can't." Um, you know, and we say hey, we want to play next week, and we, you could get invitations, but we can't decide it, guys. It's not. No one is waiting for us. Every country would have written letters. Then, that we want to go there, we go there. We would have then said, you know what, we want to go to Europe and want to play in the Euros, right? I mean, we wouldn't qualify, but again, you would get good matches, right? Once in a while, you'd play England, Germany, Spain, or France, or whatever. Uh, Prithviraj says Sana was doing well both on off the pitch. Had set up a football arena in his hometown back in Manipur, but violence not only destroyed the pitch but also own home players. Will think about money. Um, but Sana is a very special case. It's not only him, but a number of players has gone back in Manipur and have built their uh, own now small training centers and other things. But Sana, think to me, is someone a player who I feel you know. Um, which, which I feel, let's see if if he could play for India, right? So uh, you know, and and that's something uh, uh, you know. So that's the point. You also say, uh, Rohit Ramesh's plan to start investing in Southeast Asian countries like Cambodia might be good for Indian players who don't get attention to bring it to continental market. This will be will do some positive marketing for India. Has Rohit anywhere mentioned that he's taking Indian players to Southeast Asia? Just. Asking because he invested now a club in I think Indonesia as well now, right? Um, so therefore, if you think an Indian investor would ensure that Indian players will get opportunities, let's hope so. Um, so therefore, that's the reality. Um, problem is in the foundation. Our boys are learning football from Indian coaches who themselves don't know how to play football. Sanjay, little hard uh, your statement. But yeah, indirectly, uh, it's 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 my thinking as well. It's part of our problem, really, that we are, uh, you know, our coaches are not at the moment good enough to teach our kids football. That's a, and but they will see the the coaches will not say that. That's the other problem, right? The coaches will not agree to that 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 they need to be better, you know. And 
if we had the money, I would bring in the right coaches from elsewhere in the world and trying to rectify the problem. So, yeah. Charlotte says, people working in the grassroots, which include ISIL clubs, have failed to produce players who can compete at the Asian level. It's a collective failure and that's a fact. Yeah, Charlotte, that's, that's what I'm saying. But no one will accept that. The Indian ecosystem, stakeholder, it's easy that you know other people get blamed. No? AFF gets blamed. National team gets blamed. Why bother? You know, FSDL gets blamed. The heart, the, the federation created over the years, you know, those I-League lovers, NFL lovers, why did Bob Houghton say to create the Indian Arrows at the time in 2009, 2010 and was created? Because Indian football was not producing good enough players and even in the I-League, the key position, especially strikers, were picked up by foreigners. You know? So, oh, just breaking news out of Leverkusen. Xavi Alonso is staying, it looks like. You're on mute, Akshata. Yes, yes, he's staying. He said that um, he used the international break to think about this decision and he wants to stay. Yeah. So, it's official. It's official. I think it's good for him. I would say it's good for him. It's, it's the right decision, I would say. But anyway, we're yeah. talking Indian football now. Let's get back to that. We, we can do another conversation that maybe tonight on that. Um, I don't need to go. I have to make a couple of calls, so I'll join yeah, later. But, there, but there's a question for you, um, because I actually, actually also have to leave. Uh, Deepak, a uh, question for both. Uh, if they play Vikram Patap continuously, do you guys have enough patience to let him play at international stage? <laughs> Do you have enough patience? Yeah, <laughs> I would. I would. Because I have seen Vikram Patap uh, under 16, under 19 level. Um, at Mumbai City, he's needed his two years to, to settle down and get to the level that where he is. If I would, if I would, if you would ask me who could potentially be the new India number nine in the long run, then I would say Vikram. If I look at all rounds. Maybe the combination with Ayush Chikara, because I like Ayush's build. But at the moment, I would still use Vikram as a, as a winger. Because I would like him to settle down in the national team first. And once he settled down in the national team, use him as a number nine. That would be my approach, if you were asking me. And I'm not a coach. But that would be... I think he is, he is he's one of our best bats. You know? I think I know as the right person to answer that. I don't have that kind of technical knowledge to actually answer that question. But I genuinely feel that, you know, like showing the stage that we are in, I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket, you know. I, I don't know. <laughs> so we need to focus on multiple players and ha show, have some patience with all of them. Yeah. Um, again, I, I feel, uh, having now followed him for the last five, six years, um, he to me is one of the few players where I would think that he could could take up that mantle. Because there's a lot of players that everyone is mentioning, um, and I'm not going to mention names, where I don't see them being long-term long India players. <laughs> and again, I, I, I can be wrong. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, not, I'm not here the, the start and the end of all discussions. But I feel that there are certain players whose names have been dropped often in the last uh, few months, um, who I don't think are, first of all, ready to play for the national team, and secondly, are not uh, solutions uh, for, 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 our, for our issues. So, therefore, I think we need to be selective and find the right players. But that's it. I think, actually, you said you have to leave, right? We have to make a couple of further. No problem. Thanks a lot for joining in. I'll do thank it for you. another five, seven minutes. Um, and, and thanks again for joining in. Yes, thank Your you channel so again. <laughs> yes, please subscribe to Steven Sports. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anwar. Yeah, give, give uh, Akshata a subscribe. And... Uh, Thank you. I think I know I've got a call, so... Yeah, sorry, sorry. That's, I sorry. Yeah, thanks I a lot. I <laughs> yeah, yeah, thanks a lot for joining in and uh, um, and um, we'll be catching up very soon. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, that was Akshata. Um, thanks a lot for joining in. Um, and I'll quickly try and uh, get a few more statements and questions in. Edward is saying we should play Kafa Nations, but 
you think we should be trying playing ASEAN that is actually competitive. We dominate SAF and Iran dominates CAFA. Um, we are not going into any other regional association at the moment. We might be invited for tournaments, but again, if you look at what, what we are, I don't know if, if people are willing to, to invite us to, to take part in, in competition. So that's my, that's my concern at the moment, that where we stand is, is, is where we stand. And um, yeah, well, I hope it gets better. Uh, Sai can cancel his visa, so they're technically sacking, right? If, if Sai do that and AFF is not sacked the coach, that is interference in the work of the AFF. So this could be asking for a FIFA ban. Um, KBFC has a huge social media following, right? Interaction on X and is more than some IPL teams during months when IPL isn't happening. Why well, is not easy to convert them into sponsorships? Um, because um, I think social media following is not what, what eyeballs and all, you know, um, it's, it's not, the Blasters has more sponsorship. I think at least it looks like they have more sponsorship. I have not seen it properly recently. Uh, um, you know, uh, to me is that, uh, yeah, uh, but, but it's, it's nowhere near, again, uh, the, 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 the carnival, the festivities, um, and, and therefore it doesn't make sense. Uh, Ashley, thanks a lot. You're doing a great job. Keep it up. We are there with you. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Both thumbs up. Uh, while Fanatics is saying, bend the rules and get in your overseas players, as even Pakistan would start beating India soon. Well, that's a reality um, that I hope not to see, but that could happen. Shumolo says, we uh, we fans equal match day minus, uh, well, sorry, travel to stadium, getting beaten by higher and lower ranked teams and repeat, sorry, match day and repeat. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, it is because I would hope that people follow the national team, that they they support the national team, and and you no, know, that we that we grow the community. I know it's difficult in times like these that for people to follow and grow the community. But I still, you know, I, I don't give up hopes. I'm, I try to be a positive person. So therefore, my hope is always that more people support, and and therefore. Um, you know, it doesn't end. Uh, Vineet says, government of India and cancel eco vivo quiz, and that's technically no interference. It is interference because you are uh, denying an employee of the AFF his contract. Well, one hour, 42 minutes. Again, didn't think it will last that long, but thanks a lot, guys, for, for joining once again. Special thanks, of course, for Akshat for coming in for a while to, to join as well today. Um, as always, um, like this video, share this video with people so maybe you know they pick up a few of the talking points that I uh, that I mentioned today and um, do subscribe to the channel. Let's let's get it to that 1K following um, that I talk about. Uh, special thanks, of course, for uh, uh, Orijit becoming a member and for Icon Loan for for the small donation. Thanks a lot, guys. So therefore, um, as always, um, you know. Um, you know, um, uh, let's see what happens. Uh, Dark Knight, thank you, Anavasa. Thank you, Dark Knight, for being there. And uh, Shumal is saying, Anavasa, do something to help Indian football so if you can open the eyes. I'm talking to people in the background. So I'm trying to do my little bit that I can do to, to try and help Indian football. And, and, and um, you know, and uh, let's see. Let's see if, if you know, um, if uh, this whole steam arch situation actually changes because I think there is, is quite a bit of, mo of movement is uh, um, in there. And therefore, to me, uh, um, um, to me certainly, um, that's, that's an important thing. Uh, Arman has a question. Is Brandon the most technically complete player in the football I've seen in the last decade? Um, I would, yeah, comes close. I would say Laral Indi Karalte um, would be my player. Um, so therefore, um, you know, so therefore, yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, would have been my favorite. Um, so thanks a lot, guys. As always, um, we'll be doing this again um, in the coming days and um, catch you soon. Like, share and subscribe. Arun Foot and I'll be back very, very soon. Thanks and bye.